Welcome back to the KCLA Morning News. I'm Mark Crispy. Here now is Jessica Houses, our investigative reporter, with an update on a story we first told you about six months ago. Jessica? Thank you, Mark. You may remember the story of Carrie Brooks, the off-duty LAPD officer who collapsed while chasing down a rapist in the hills of Malibu about six months ago. Officer Brooks offered a heart attack while in the pursuit of the attacker. Immobilized by the heart attack and lying on the ground, Brooks could only watch as the rapist turned and raised his knife to kill him. However, the attacker was thwarted at the last second by Brooks' younger brother, Jimmy, who shot and killed the rapist using his brother's gun, saving his life. Well, I've done some investigative follow-up and here's the update. Officer Brooks is considered to be a hero by the LAPD and the public alike for saving the rape victim from being murdered. You may recall that the rapist was poised to kill his victim before the officer intervened and he saved the citizen's life. However, I have discovered that Mr. Brooks, despite his heroism, has been relieved of his duties as an officer. The heart condition that was revealed during his incident, according to the LAPD, makes him ineligible for active duty and he's been dismissed from his position. To make matters worse, his heart condition has been deemed to be pre-existing in fact, it's been determined that he was born with a defective heart and since the debilitating episode was not a direct result of an on-duty incident, Officer Brooks is not entitled to a pension, at least according to LAPD Police Chief Howie Peck. Officer Brooks received only a small severance collected from fellow officers and has taken a job as a security guard at the Beachside Grocery Store in Malibu. Mark? Thank you for that update, Jessica. We appreciate that. This is a very special day for Jessica and for all of us at the KCLA Morning News. I'm sad to announce that this is Jessica's last broadcast as she's leaving us to start her own private investigation firm. She'll be going from Jessica Houses investigative journalist to Jessica Houses private investigator. Here's our entertainment chief, Sam Pastrami, with a cake for you, Jessica. Also here to say goodbye is Frank Buckney from Weather and Cinnamon Tan from Traffic. Jessica, we're really gonna miss you. I'll never forget the cupcakes you bring in and the way you taught me to twist the bottom, place it on the top, and have a cupcake sandwich. Jessica, first Michaela leaves for the network in New York, and now you, I don't know how I'm gonna take it. I miss you already, Jessica. By the way, there's a SIG alert on the 10. You might want to take the 101 to the 405 and pick up the 10 in Culver City. There are other upcoming changes here at KCLA. Frank Buckney is moving from the weather department to the anchor chair. Congratulations, Frank. And yours truly, Mark Crispy, is shifting from the morning news to become the lead news anchor for breaking news and the evening news. These changes will take place Monday, and I just want to say to my friend and associate Jessica Houses, we're really going to miss you and wish you all the luck in the world in your new endeavor. And to my associates here at the KCLA Morning News, Sam Pastrami, Frank Buckney, and Cinnamon Tan, a true pleasure. And to all the viewers who've been watching me on the morning news, I'll just say thank you and I look forward to keeping our friendship alive on the evening news. Goodbye, everybody. And we're out. Hey, uh, Jessica, how about we meet out at your beach house this afternoon? Well, you have a key. I'll see you there.